The iconic Mapikela House towering over Batu location, the first brick was laid in 1923, its construction completed in 1926. Mapikela was one of the central figures in the formation of the South African Native National Congress in 1912, the party which is now known as the ANC. The party was formed at the Wesleyan Church in Vaihuk. It was established at a time when European powers had engaged in conquering and colonizing large parts of the world for almost five decades. Indigenous people had been subjugated, enslaved and deprived of land. Mapikela was a businessman, carpenter, building contractor and philanthropist who imparted his carpentry knowledge to the locals and helped the poorest of the poor. There were no money those times. He used to raise funds to see that the work of the, uh, of the ANC goes on. It went on. He used to do a lot of things. We are proud of his work. Mapikela settled at Vaihook in 1892. When the Vaihook Township was demolished, so too were Mapikela's two houses. By the 1920s, restrictive laws on black ownership of land intensified. Mapikela was not permitted to build more than one house in the new Batu Township. He therefore decided to build this double-story house that played a significant role in the struggle. It became the venue for most meetings of the ANC leaders and the place where important decisions were taken. The plan of this house was planned by the father when he had gone overseas. They had gone overseas because of the mishaps, happenings which were happening those times when, 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 when black people were taken as nothing in South Africa. They had gone to fight for that. So he came with a plan and then it was built by his own people. The house, known as Ulundikaya, was declared a national monument in 1997. It was restored in 2000 after it had been engulfed in a fire a year earlier. So it becomes very pertinent for us as an organization to, 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 to every time come here and pay homage to, to where it all started. Mapigela died in 1945, aged 76. His grave was declared a national heritage site in March 2016. Mahalama Masiteng. SABC News, Bloemfontein.